Hello my friends, just wanted to share with you my new Para Ordnance 1911. Uh, this is the Wild Bunch version. Uh, the gun started as black, or blued I guess I should say, um, but it just looks black. Um, and I uh, started by scrubbing it down with uh, rust and blue remover. Clean it up a little bit here. Rust and blue remover with the copper brush to get all the bluing off and then just start sanding on it with uh, uh, some areas I did 220 grit depending on the machining how rough that was and then uh, generally I'd start with 400 grit and get progressively finer. Um, the slide itself I finished in 1500 grit. It's not uh, fully polished so it still has some some, uh, I guess what would look like really like light machining marks or light haze, which I actually kind of like. I didn't end up uh, going super polished like I have on a shotgun. Um, it's, it's a little more hazy. The frame itself, I finished in uh, 600 grit, so that has not as much shine as the slide, which I kind of like. It gives it a nice contrast. Um, oh, by the way, Gun's empty. Okay. Um, the Para ended up being a very, very, very nice gun for the money. Um, I, I was trying to decide between this and a Taurus. This was actually, uh, oh, about almost $200 more than the Taurus. Um, so I ended up with this. It just felt a lot smoother. The whole thing stainless steel. Um, this is, like I said, the Wild Bunch version. You can see uh, see there. Wild Bunch. Um, I don't care about SASS shooting or anything. I just I, when I held the gun, I really liked it. And then when I pulled that slide back, it's just so smooth. Um, there's no internal guide rod, as well as uh, no feed ramp there is kind of a there is kind of a ramp in there um, but it's separated it's not a you know a smooth flow ramp into the into the chamber um, there is that little bit of a gap there between the barrel or the chamber and the I guess what you could call a feed ramp um, I haven't had any issues with it I've only shot a hundred rounds through it so far but it's functioned flawlessly um, uh, I changed the trigger on it. It used to have the solid black plastic trigger. I changed that to a Chip McCormick aluminum trigger. I um, just didn't think the black trigger would have made sense on on a, on a gun like this. Um, I'll point the barrel towards the gun, but I'll show it as clear gun. Um, on the end, I did a really rough really rough sanding on the front of the slide but then I made the you know the, the barrel bushing nice and shiny kind of gives it a nice nice look there it's a pretty simple process that anyone can do it just takes a little bit of time you also have to be able to completely disassemble the gun it is prone to fingerprints of course um, but you do have to be able to break this down hundred percent including all of the stuff you know all the the sear and the trigger uh, I'm sorry the hammer the sear um, all that stuff inside of there you got to be able to take apart because when you start polishing on it um, you got to make sure that everything's cleaned out properly um, so that involves breaking down the pistol 100% if you're not totally comfortable with it um, I don't know if I'd recommend doing it or not but uh, but for those who are comfortable with doing that go ahead and go ahead and have at it um, from what I've been told from pretty much anyone I just had a gun show talking to a lot of different people and pretty much everyone says this will up the value of your pistol as long as it's done right and it looks nice um, also the nice thing about polished steel like this even though this is stainless steel uh, you don't have to worry about corrosion really as much as you would need to with a uh, uh, you know a regular steel gun um, but when when you have a finish uh, highly I'm not gonna really say this is polished because it isn't really it's just sandpaper um, but when you get it to this this fine of a finish in the steel 
um, you you don't have to really worry too much about corrosion. I have a, a 71 shotgun that I totally polished out. I finished in 2000 grit paper and then used a uh, polishing wheel. Uh, but I haven't put a single drip of oil on that gun in uh, probably three months on the, anywhere on the outside or anything. And I've even gotten water on it and there's not a spot of corrosion anywhere on the entire gun. So if uh, anyone out there, if you like the lo this look um, and you hate corrosion, this is a really good way to go because uh, you'll never run into corrosion having it like this. Um, and it just looks really, really nice. I get a lot of compliments on this. A lot of people really like it. It's a really easy process. This project took me probably uh, maybe 8 to 10 hours total of sanding. Some of the parts are very polished. Uh, the hammer the hammer I polished out uh, just to give it a um, kind of a contrast between the, the slightly shiny slide and uh, other parts. So I just kind of like having some parts really shiny and other parts kind of dull. It gives it a really nice, uh, just a really nice contrast. And you can see that between the slide and the frame, how the frame's a lot more dull than the slide, which I really like a lot. Um, I kept the standard Hogue grips on there that come on the gun. I was thinking about changing the grips or just buying a few different sets so I can have a different kind of looking gun. Um, as well as polishing the outside of the gun, I did a lot of internal work. Uh, I, I made the uh, the magazine release button. That was a little gritty, so I, uh, I did some work to smooth that out, and now that's nice and smooth. Uh, the hammer, that was a little gritty. Now it's smooth as butter. Trigger pull. Again, I always like to safety check before I do anything like that. Trigger pull. Super nice. Super crisp. Really smooth. And like I said, the frame, or I'm sorry, the slide, feels like it's sliding on butter. It's just the smoothest thing I've ever felt in my entire life. Uh, the pair of ordnance, I know not a lot of people know a lot about these. Uh, from my experience, I think it's an amazing gun. Um, I've uh, held a few Kimbers and racked a slide and pulled the hammer back and all that stuff. I haven't got a chance to shoot them yet, but uh, my friend has a Sig Sauer C3. Um, everything about this para, it, you know, this para is, uh, uh, you know, MSRP is maybe a couple hundred dollars less than the C3 Sig Sauer, uh, but everything about the para just feels so much smoother. The hammer cock is smoother, the slide on the frame is smoother. Um, Trigger pull is a little bit more crisp and smooth. I don't, I don't want to go out there and say that this is better than a Sig Sauer because I, I honestly don't know. I don't know a lot about Para. I do know that I like this a lot when I picked it up, and I like it even more when I shoot it. Um, shoot really tight groups. Uh, furthest I've shot out is about 25 feet at the indoor range, and I was shooting, you know, uh, pretty, pretty tight groups at 25 feet, maybe maybe two inches. I know a lot of you can shoot better than that, but I'm still uh, I'm still trying to get my good trigger breakdown. So that's the Para Ordnance 1911. It's the Wild Bunch version. Um, they sell this in a stainless steel version. I'm not sure how much that is or the availability on it. I got this all black and then made it like this, like I said, um, which anyone can do. Changing the parts is easy. Taking the gun down is easy. Um, the 1911 is a great design, and uh, I, I like it a lot so far. It's my first all-steel pistol. It's my first 1911, um, and uh, you know I, I really, uh, really like this a lot. I'd like to add a beaver tail to it, though. This is this is fine for now. It's uh, the gun itself is very, uh, except for the trigger now, is very true to the original um, government model. 1911. Uh, it has the traditional spur hammer, the non-beaver tail. It did have the solid black trigger. Um, sights are fixed, dovetailed in. Uh, like I said, no internal guide rod, no internal feed ramp, but neither of those seem to be any type of issue whatsoever. At least for me, some of you might uh, might have an issue with that. Sight picture is good. Uh, trigger brake, like I said, is extremely clean and crisp. You get a good, good trigger brake. Just really nice, really really nice. So great gun. Highly recommend it to anyone. 
Repair Ordinance, Wild Bunch, 1911. Hope you guys like it.